and welcome back to English with Lucy. Today I am going to teach you 50 advanced verbs that are going to make you sound more intelligent when you speak and they're going to dramatically increase your vocabulary. Quickly, before we get started, I would just like to thank the sponsor of today's video, it's Lingoda. Do you want to rapidly increase your confidence, speaking skills and fluency? What if I told you that you could do this in just three months and earn up to a 100% refund? This opportunity is called the Lingoda Sprint Promotion. You can join the Sprint in English, German, French, Spanish and Business English. I've tried Lingoda myself and I was blown away by the experience. All of the teachers are qualified native speakers. You can take classes at your convenience, anytime, anywhere, as long as you have a stable internet connection. Group sizes are really small with an average of just three students per class. You study a structured curriculum and all of your learning materials are provided. This sprint starts on the 7th of January 2020 and lasts until the 5th of April 2020. You have to participate in an agreed number of classes each month in order to succeed. You can only take one class per day, every day. For the Super Sprint, if you attend 30 classes per month for three months, you get a 100% refund. For the Normal Sprint, you attend 15 classes per month for three months and you can get 50% of your money back. Sign up to the Sprint before the 19th of December and pay a 49 euro deposit to secure your spot. You can get a 10 euro discount on the deposit if you use my code SPRINT4. The deposit will be taken off your first month of payment. Upon registration, you agree to make one payment per month for three months, breaking down the initial cost. However, if you complete the Sprint and attend and participate in every class and follow the rules, you will receive 50 or 100% of your money back depending on which sprint you do. This includes your deposit. How motivating is that? Sometimes we need a little extra push. A full refund is certainly a push that I would go for. Graduates of past Lingoda language challenges have said that reading the terms and conditions and familiarising yourself with the rules is the key to getting the refund. Over 20,000 people have participated in the six previous Lingoda language challenges over the past three years. For many, it's completely transformed their lives, allowing them to travel all over the world, meet new people and advance in their career. They've shared their life-changing experiences with the Lingoda team and you can read it on their website, which is linked down below. I also encourage you to check out their Instagram profile where they share more inspiring stories. So, do you want to transform your English speaking skills and your confidence quickly? Click on the link in the description box and use my code SPRINT4 for 10 euros off your deposit. Best of luck with the Sprint. Right, let's get started with the vocabulary lesson. Please note that lots of these verbs have multiple meanings. I'm focusing on one meaning per verb and I'm using them in a more advanced context. Number one is to alter, to alter. This means to make somebody or something different. For example, you shouldn't feel the need to alter your appearance. Number two is to amend, to amend. This means to change a law, document or statement slightly in order to correct a mistake or to improve it. For example, would you mind amending those documents I sent you? Number three is to amplify, to amplify. This means to add details to a story or a statement. For example, she refused to amplify further. She refused to tell us any more details. Number four is to balloon, to balloon. This means to suddenly swell out or to get bigger. For example, employment rates ballooned to 90%. Number five is to blab, to blab. This means to tell someone information that should be kept secret. For example, someone must have blabbed to the police. Number six is to brief, to brief. 
This means to give someone information about something so that they are prepared to deal with it. For example, the officer briefed her on what to expect. Number seven is to capture. To capture. This means to film, record or paint somebody or something. This is usually used in the passive form. For example, the robbery was captured on film by the security cameras. Number eight is to clasp. To clasp. This means to hold something tightly in your hand. For example, she clasped her hands together as she waited. Number nine is to clutch. To clutch. This means to hold somebody or something tightly. For example, I clutched onto his shoulder for support. Number nine is to collide. To collide. This means to disagree strongly. For example, my partner and I often collide over political differences. Number 11 is to command. To command. This means to tell somebody what to do. For example, she commanded the release of the prisoners. Number 12 is to cower. To cower. This means to bend low and or move backwards because you're frightened. For example, the dog whimpered and cowered at his feet. Number 13 is to crave. To crave. This means to have a very strong desire for something. For example, I've always craved excitement. Number 14 is to dash. To dash. This means to go somewhere very quickly. For example, I must dash. It was lovely to see you. It's a good one to use if you're trying to escape an unwanted conversation. Number 15 is to detect. To detect. This is to discover or notice something, especially if that something isn't easy to see or hear. For example, the tests are designed to detect the disease. <laughs> this is impossible. I need to include this in a tongue twister video. For example, the tests are designed to detect bacteria. <laughs> Number 16 is to deviate. To deviate. This is to do something in a different way from what is usual or expected, or to be different from something. For example, let's not deviate from the original idea. Number 17 is to discern. To discern. This is to see or hear something, usually with difficulty. For example, I quickly discerned that something was wrong. Number 18 is to dismantle. To dismantle. This is to take something apart, usually a machine or a structure, so that it's in separate pieces. For example, I had to dismantle the printer in order to repair it. Number 19, this is a lovely one. It's to eavesdrop, to eavesdrop. This means to listen secretly to what other people are saying. For example, we caught her eavesdropping outside the window. Number 20 is to escort to escort. This is to go with somebody, either to protect them or to show them the way. For example, let me escort you to your room. Number 21 is to expose. To expose. This is to tell the true facts about a person or a situation and show it or them to be illegal or immoral. For example, she was exposed as a liar and a fraud. Number 22 is to glare, to glare. This is to look at somebody or something in an angry way. For example, she didn't shout, she just glared at me. Number 23 is to gravitate, to gravitate. This is to move towards something or someone that you are attracted to. For example, many young people gravitate towards London in search of work. Number 24 is to gush, to gush. This is to express so much praise for someone or something that it doesn't seem sincere. For example, Rachel is always gushing about how much she values Prue's friendship. 
Number 25 is to hobble. To hobble. This means to walk with difficulty, especially because your legs or your feet hurt. For example, she was hobbling around on crutches yesterday. Number 26 is to hover. To hover. This means to wait somewhere, especially near someone, in an uncertain or shy manner. For example, he hovered over her, waiting for an answer. Number 27 is to ignite. To ignite. This means to start to burn or to make something start to burn. For example, tempers ignited when the redundancy packages were announced. Number 28 is to intertwine. To intertwine. This means to become very closely connected with somebody or something. For example, their political careers became very closely intertwined. Number 29 is to lurk. To lurk. This means to wait somewhere secretly, especially because you're going to do something illegal or bad. For example, she saw someone lurking in the doorway and decided to leave immediately. Number 30 is to mimic. To mimic. This means to look or behave like someone or something else. For example, his behaviour mimicked that of his mother. Number 31 is to oppress. To oppress. This means to make someone only able to think about worrying or sad things. For example, he was beginning to feel oppressed by his surroundings. Number 32 is to peer. To peer. This is to look closely at something, especially if you can't see it properly. For example, he peered closely at the photograph. Number 33 is to pinpoint. To pinpoint. This means to be able to give the exact reason for something or to be able to describe something exactly. For example, the report pinpointed the areas most in need of development. Number 34 is to prune. To prune. This means to make something smaller by removing parts. For example, please could you go through the report and prune out any unnecessary details. Number 35 is to recoil. To recoil. This means to move your body quickly away from something or someone because you find it or them frightening or unpleasant. For example, she recoiled in horror after he tried to kiss her. Number 36 is to reverberate. To reverberate. This means to have a strong effect on people for a long time or over a large area. For example, repercussions of the case continue to reverberate through the financial world. Number 37 is to saunter. To saunter. This means to walk in a slow, relaxed way. For example, she sauntered down the corridor looking as if she had all the time in the world. 38 is to seize. To seize. This means to take someone or something suddenly using force. For example, he seized hold of my hand and led me to the exit. Number 39 is to shatter. To shatter. This means to destroy something completely, especially someone's hopes, dreams or expectations. For example, he shattered her confidence when he told her how he really felt about her singing voice. Number 40 is to shrivel. To shrivel. I love saying that one. To shrivel. <laughs> this means to make something become dry and wrinkled as a result of heat, cold or being old. For example, the long bath had shriveled my fingers and toes. Number 41 is to slump. To slump. This means to fall in value, price or number suddenly by a large amount. For example, profits have slumped by over 12% this quarter. Number 42 is to struggle. To struggle. This means to try very hard to do something when it's very difficult or there are a lot of problems. For example, I'm really struggling to pay all of my bills on time. Number 43 is to stumble. To stumble. This means to walk or move in an unsteady way. For example, we stumbled around in the dark trying to find the light switch. 
Number 44 is to trim. To trim. This is to make something better, smaller or neater by cutting parts away from it. For example, staff numbers have just been trimmed to 15. Number 45 is to upstage. To upstage. This is to say or do something that makes people notice you more than the person they should be interested in. For example, how dare you upstage me at my own wedding? Number 46 is to withdraw. To withdraw. This is to stop giving or offering something to someone. For example, unless you sign the contract within seven days, the offer will be withdrawn. Number 47 is to wrestle. To wrestle. This means to struggle to deal with something that is difficult. For example, we wrestled for hours with the problem of which task to start first. Number 48 is to yank. To yank. This means to pull something or someone hard and suddenly. For example, I yanked the door open and ran outside. Someone's dog barking. Number 49 is to yearn. To yearn. This means to want something very much, especially when it's very difficult to get or achieve. For example, I've always yearned to escape from office life. And number 50 is to zap. To zap. This means to do something very quickly. It's often used to replace the word to read. For example, I'll zap through this report and I'll get back to you in the morning. Right, that was my lesson on 50 advanced verbs that you can now use and impress people with. Don't forget to check out the Lingoda Sprint promotion. If you're interested, you can get a 10 euro discount from your 49 euro deposit. All you have to do is click on the link in the description box and use my code SPRINT4 when you sign up. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Facebook, my Instagram and my Twitter. And I shall see you soon for another lesson. Mwah.